Nisar Ahmed Nizamani, who comes from a small village near Hala. It was not a village, it was a hamlet, I must say, because uh, it was without, when I was born, it was without a road access, without electricity, without tap water. But it was a very rich village indeed. Rich in a way that many of the people in the village, whose age was more than 50 years, and I was like eight to 10 years, I think they had a lot of information base based on their informal education uh, in our societal system. And I had opportunity to learn and experience living in my village. I, I have a lot of respect, value, and love for my village, I must say. The learnings that I had from my village, they are still going a long way with me. I am currently more than a half a century man, 51 years of age. But I still believe that there are so many things that I could relate to my learning that I acquired when I was in my village. The second thing is, the important to mention here is that Whatever I am today, well, I'm not a big shot indeed, but whatever I have been uh, doing in my life, that is a strong role of my parents, my father and my mother, a very, very uh, legendary parents. They had one mission in life, that they wanted to see their children educated. My father was a school teacher. My mother is a housewife, but a very strong housewife. She's a very visionary lady, I must say. Uh, when I finished my education in my village, my parents decided that we should go to some adjoining town to live in so that we can acquire further education. We means the children. I'm the adult, eldest of my siblings. I have six very strong sisters, I must say all highly educated, and they came to live in Hala because there was relatively a good schooling at that time in the town. And when we finished our schooling in Hala, my parents decided to move to Hyderabad because they had to arrange university education for their children. I would say that we were kind of a very small education nomads. We started from our village, came to adjoining town, and then came to Hyderabad, just for one purpose, and the purpose was that we need to have some relatively a good education available in the public schooling system, because at that time, I think public schooling system was relatively, relatively better. And my whole education uh, has been uh, in the public schools from school to university. Until I graduated from the college in Hala, it was all the decisions taken by my parents that are, what should I learn? Should I go to learn mathematics, biology? And my parents wanted to, me to become an engineer. Unfortunately, I couldn't qualify to to go to Mehran University at that time because I, my grades were not good enough. And I, I had a lot of problem. I went into a kind of a distress because at that time, if you have not managed to become engineer or a doctor, it means that you are not educated. You have failed to acquire a good education. That was a societal norm and understanding. So what I did that I repeated my college education. I attempted and got good grade, grades. I was selected in Mehran University to, go, to become an engineer. But by the time I qualified to become an engineer, future engineer, I, I deliberated that is it really that I want to be an engineer? I, I, I convinced myself, no, you really don't want to be an engineer. You want to be something else. Then I inquired from a few of the friends, what it is 
that is available in some other universities. Someone advised me to go to some university and do some disciplines, uh, social sciences. I opted for doing a BBA program. I, I got the permission from my parents. And my mother and my father, they said that now we think that you are quite mature enough to take your own decisions. We have guided you, we have supported you till you, you graduated from college. And now we really want you to take this decision that what you want to be in future. And I decided that I'm not going to become an engineer. That's not my cup of tea. And I went to Sydney University. Because I, I will be mentioning a few of the very unpopular decisions that I have taken in life. Uh, though you, you may find them interesting and few of them, few of you might not find them interesting, but that's the whole story that I have to share with you. Anyways, uh, I went to Sydney University and many of my college teachers when they came to knew that I, instead of uh, Mahran University, I'm going to Sindh University doing a BBA, they criticized me, in fact, in, in front of my parents, that uh, you struggle a lot, and when there was an opportunity, you qualified for it, and now you are not going to join the university, and you are going to do BBA, not BBA, BA. I said, no, it's a BBA, it's a professional degree. I said, whatever, something similar. So, well, though these were kind of the signals that I was getting, but I was confident that I don't want to be a kind of engineer who will be doing maths because I was not good at maths. I, I, I told myself, I convinced myself that I would not make my life miserable doing reading, learning mathematics. I need to do something else that I really want to enjoy love by learning. I opted for a BBA program and then I completed my MBA. The first job that I was offered was in, uh, was in a private bank in Karachi. It was at that time a union bank. It's no more now. It merged in some other banks later on. Uh, I was the only candidate who stood qualified from Sindh University graduates, two of the batches, my batch and one of our previous batches, all appeared in that test. The test was uh, taken and managed by IBA Karachi and I was the only one who qualified this test and was offered the job. And I went to Karachi to join this job. When I was sitting in, in that commercial branch where I was supposed to join, uh, the procedure was taking some time some 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, they offered me tea, but I was deliberating that this is a time that I have to decide what I want to be uh, as a professional in my career. And I realized that the job that I am going to join is again not the one that I would love to do. I don't want to spend my more than half of life sitting in the bank and counting the money, the money that is not mine. So I decided at that time that I will not join the bank today. I told them, the staff, that thank you very much. I decided that I am not joining. And they were uh, puzzled that why I have taken this decision. Has something gone wrong? I think nothing has gone wrong. I think I'm not appropriate person who will bring a lot of benefit and business for the bank. So you better should look for someone else who can help the bank generate revenues. Well, uh, they were, uh, were or were not convinced, but anyways, I walked out of that branch and I came to, back to my home in Hala. In the meantime, I also qualified uh, Public Service Commission for uh, deputy superintendent of jail. I qualified the test and when the result was announced there was some there were some issues the result was withheld and few of the qualifying candidates they went to the court and the court gave a decision in their favor they are now 
I mean, in, in the prison department. But at that time, I didn't pursue that I should really go for this job. Again, I had a strong realization that this is not something that I would like to do, living with uh, prisoners, and I am not kind of the person who would enjoy this job and, and the, the overall environment that I will be getting while serving as a, as a deputy superintendent of jail. I, thought, I, I, I concluded, no, it's fine. There's a lot of time ahead. There are a lot of avenues ahead that I can pursue. I, I, I was not aware of these civil society organizations at the time. One of my friends told me that, well, you are currently not doing anything. You are graduate and still pursuing jobs. What you can do, that can you help an organization to do their communication in the English language and uh, improve their reports? I said, yes. And I joined that a very small organization in Hyderabad. They used to give me 3,000 rupees. It's back in 1994, 95. Uh, that money was not enough to commute from Hala to Hyderabad and go back home. And I still used to get some money from my parents to meet the daily expenses. But I realized that this is something different. I, I worked there for, for like five months. After five months, there was an announcement in the newspapers that Public Health Engineering Department is looking for a senior training officer uh, on the contract basis uh, for grade 17. And that was a World, World Bank funded project. The interviews were conducted by the government of Sindh officials and the bank representatives. I applied, I mean, I just wanted to see how the interviews are being conducted and how you appear in the interviews. So I applied and I was interviewed. There were questions around what is training, what is the need assessment, what is this, what is that, how do you develop reports of the training. I positively get, gave them all the responses. And one of the expatriate staff on the panel, he said to me that you don't have relevant experience. We were looking for somebody who had at least five years of experience in doing and managing the trainings. But how come you have given all the responses positively and apparently you stand qualified? But, 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 the, the, but the obstacle that we are facing is that you, you do not meet the experience requirements. I said, well, I don't have the experience. And I haven't organized any of the trainings. All I have done that I have reviewed the literature of an organization that currently I am working with. So from that review, I have got this understanding that how it works. They said, well, uh, finally they concluded that they are going to offer me the job. I received the offer letter, and after a few days, I went to join that job. Uh, somebody who was, my, who was supposed to be my senior grade 18, he was also from, from my hometown, Hala. When I introduced myself, he, he showed, showed uh, happiness. happiness. Well, well, it's good, good to see you here. Yeah. And the first, first kind, kind of uh, orientation, orientation that, that he gave me in those 10, ten minutes, minutes time is that, that there, there are no trainings here. indeed here. here. There's, There's one, one Potohar Jeep, Jeep that you will be using, using when you need it. it. When, when I need it, I'll be using it. it. One, one of us should be in the office uh, because, because it's important. It's important. Uh, so, so enjoy, enjoy your time here. Yeah. I concluded that if I stay here, I will be decayed.